Alright guys, so on my previous video, I talked about how to reset a quick set lock, quick set smart key lock with uh, the quick set cradle reset tool. So, or if you just have the regular key, you can reset them very, very easily. If you don't have a key, you have to use the cradle. But let's say you don't have the cradle and you're stuck out in the field and you need to rekey it. Well, I'm going to show you that. So, let's bring it in a little closer. So let's say you're out in the field. And we don't have the working key. So, this key works both locks. This key does not. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to take the cylinder apart. Let's start with the deadbolt. So, you pull the deadbolt, you get the whole cylinder out. We actually got to pull the inner cylinder out. So you get the housing and the cylinder together, but pry off the C-clip, cylinder pops out, take off the other C-clip, or E-clip, however you want to call them, hold the tailpiece on the back of the quick set. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that off, and we have this, right? So, then there's a little uh, spacer that goes on the end. The wafers are what holding the inside of this together. So, we're going to grab a pick and we're going to slide the cylinder out by ever so gently pushing in the wafers. And you'll have to follow it all the way out. Alright. So now we get the cylinder out. Careful so your sidebar doesn't fall out. But we're going to take the sidebar out. This is the actual piece that holds this whole lock together and keeps it locked. So we're going to set that down on our bench. There's a couple springs. Sometimes those come out. Sometimes they do not. So we just have to be careful. But underneath this, you can see the chamber those are the pins so if you had your key right here and you slide it in those are the pins that ride on the cuts and these little notches hard to see on the camera I think but there's little notches on the pins which actually correspond with all of the wafers let's see if I can get my hand to hold still for a second here these wafers correspond with the cuts of the key and there's six notches on that for the six depths that Quickset uses so if you're out in the field and you don't have a cradle tool and you don't have a key for them what you do is you're going to line all of them up. Let me grab another pick real quick. 
one that isn't magnetized as much as that one is. Be a little easier to do this this way. So, you want to line the bridge wafers up. Down. Alright, so now we get them all lined up in the same position to take our key out. You notice there's a spring on the back of this bridge. And it's going to correspond with the little notch right here in the back. So we get it in there again just right without trying to move those wafers too much. And you get it again, you get it to click in. You can slide the Bible back which actuates very similar to this. If you look, you can stick it through the change hole and it pushes it back. So now we're actually in the reset mode. So then you can take your key, stick it in the cylinder, let the cylinder slide back. Now it's rekeyed to that key. So hold that bridge in place, take your sidebar, make sure your springs are still in, they haven't fallen out yet. Slide that on. Oop. I actually got it in the wrong way. Let's pop that out real quick. Let's try that again. Yeah, we're not all perfect. And if you notice, the sidebar actually depresses when the key's in the lock and it's the correct key. If we were to pull the key out, put it in here either so we don't lose everything so you find the housing mark find where your sidebar line goes it's over on this side and take our housing slide it over our lock turn it back in pull your key out put the spacer ring back on put the tailpiece in put the c-clip in Now, an unkeyed quick set smart key has now been rekeyed in the field in just a couple of minutes uh, without having a quick set cradle tool. Very, very easy. If you guys have any questions about that, go ahead and email me or, you know, stop and rewind this video a couple of times and you'll be able to see what I did. But again, you're going to want to make sure when you go to slide it out, I'll show you one more time. I'll lose our tailpiece. Pull that out. When we go to take this out, you want to get the wafers down, down. And pushing them all down to slide out the cylinder. So I'm going to slide our key back in so I can get this back in there. That's how you key that lock without having your cradle tool in the field. Put it back together. Yep. human. I got it on backwards too, right? So, get the C-clip back in. Make sure our tailpiece is on correctly. Make sure the work locks correctly. Works correctly. Yeah, you know what I was saying. Come on, guys. Quick set. Brand new lock. Slide it back in our cylinder. Take our big E-clip, C-clip. Clamp it back on. I use the side of my desk sometimes to push that in. But that's how we rekey quick set deadbolt in, I don't know, five minutes or so of having it on the truck counter. So, again, guys, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and have a good night. If you like my YouTube channel, please subscribe below. Below. It's over here. I don't know. It's somewhere. Anywhere. It's 
wherever they like to put it. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos. If you have any questions, email me, andrewsLockandKeyAZ at gmail.com. Or don't hesitate to pick up the phone. I answer my phone all the time. 480-437-4022. Thank you and have a great day.